I really want to talk about the black lash the Little Mermaid movie has been getting. You dream about going up there. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm doing a video about something I wanted to talk about for a while. But now that the movie is out, it's about that time I talk about it. This is gonna be about the backlash, or should I say black lash that the Little Mermaid movie has been getting. And to be honest, I have not seen the movie yet. I'm definitely planning on going to see the movie and I might even do a review on it. But this conversation I wanna have doesn't require you to have seen the movie. It just requires you to have been on social media up to over a year ago when it was first announced that Halle Bailey got casted. And with that came people making fun of Halle's looks and, oh, she's not my mermaid, she's not my little mermaid, and, oh, making all these nasty racist jokes, comparing her to animals and all type of sh And that's a common theme you see when people bring up these discussions. It's like, it's not about race. It's not about race. When in this case, it obviously is. But overall, I think that Halle Bailey did an amazing job. I think Halle Bailey did an amazing job. From the clips I've seen, like I said, I haven't seen the movie. But from the clips, from the visuals, to how they made everything look underwater, I feel like she did an amazing job. Right, Coco? What you thought about The Little Mermaid? See? <laughs> they started to... Thumbs down all the trailers and droves. It'll have like 20,000 likes, 120,000 dislikes, making all these nasty tweets, making it go viral. And you know, you had that stampede of the anti woke YouTubers making all these videos. Disney is going woke. This is going to be trash. Why does the little mermaid have to be black? La, 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 la. Shut up! And recently, you know, the movie has came out, right? Don't you know that IMBD, you know, the review website, they had to manually change their rating systems because the website almost got crashed with the amount of people that were review bombing The Little Mermaid just because. And mind you, most of these people probably haven't even seen the movie yet. It's just because the fact that a black woman got casted as Ariel, they so dedicated to making sure that everything associated with this movie has negative reviews, dislikes, and all of the above. The lowest is what? Zero. But on a brighter side, let's talk about how the movie is actually doing well. It already surpassed the original animated version from 1989. It passed 300 million internationally all over the world. It's already grossed over 300 million dollars. I'm seeing all these great posts about it. All the celebrities are taking their children to go see it. It's a big thing. It's a big event. And I'm glad that Halle Bailey is getting all the support from her peers in the industry and just from, you know, the fans around the world that watch the movie, that's really supporting it. In contrast to all the unnecessary hate and black lash she's getting. And the most ironic thing about this is, if you look at some of the reviews, if you look at, you know, the legitimate reviews, some of the critic scores and everything like that, and the highlights, some of the highlights, the main highlights for this movie was Halle Bailey as Ariel, from her singing to her acting, to the way they had the motion capture and the green screen and how it transferred into like the actual visuals that we saw. But that was another thing, people with the trailers dropped, people saying it was too dark and this and that, trying to find any little thing to nitpick at. Oh, her hair wasn't red enough. Oh, well, her hair looked like that and this and that. But most people will tell you from, you know, people that I know in real life or some comments I've seen, when you go to see the actual movie, the visuals are much better. For some reason, in the trailer, they seem a little dim and dark, but the actual movie, the visuals are way more captivating, way more appealing, and it really makes you feel like you're in that ocean with them. But you wanna know the main facts? It didn't matter how well Halle Bailey acted, how well she sung, how red her dreadlocks were. The main problem, the main controversy, was that she was black. I know it, you know it, they know it. That was the main problem, the fact that how dare you cast a black woman for this role? The Little Mermaid, the pretty white girl with the red hair. You cast a black woman with dreadlocks? How dare you? That was the response. Now, you done pissed me off. It's kind of crazy when you think about it because in the grand scheme of things, slavery towards black people doesn't exist anymore in that sense that it did back in the 1800s. 
But in a way, black people, whether you're famous or not, you still get lashings just for existing, just for being talented, just for trying to survive, trying to make a living. You still get lashings. This is a perfect example. But I got to say, one of the funniest things witnessing is seeing so many people up in arms about this you know not to say that you know adults can't watch animation because i still love animation i still watch cartoons different things like that and disney is disney it's a whole big thing the little mermaid back in that day 1989 is set in a whole new renaissance of those animated movies and you know after that came mulan and pocahontas and beauty and the beast aladdin but it was just funny to see so many people jump on a bandwagon of this black lash when it's like you 35 years old when was the last time you was thinking of the little mermaid yeah, like that. Okay. <laughs> and this is whole idea of like race swapping and how that's so woke the woke agenda and even when i did my episode reviews about the proud family and people had a lot to say about that and that was a whole big thing about you know how the proud family went woke and disney's going woke like what is their agenda with race swapping and honestly, looking at everything, researching everything, the director even said they auditioned many women, different backgrounds, different ethnicities. Halle Bailey came in, her voice blew them away. And once she got to like doing the test screens, he just stopped looking. He said nobody else surpassed her. Who flounder? Stop being such a guppy. Did they know casting her as a black woman, as Ariel, was gonna shake some feathers and make a ruckus they definitely knew that but that's how well Halle Bailey impressed them they were willing to take all of this black lash because they knew that she could deliver what they wanted from the response to the reviews to the box office it's clear that she's delivering and it's only going to get stronger and stronger it's only going to make more money more money as the weeks go on I would like to see it Honestly speaking, when they announce that they're doing remakes of these Disney classics, the first thing people think of is who looks like the character? Who looks like this? Who looks like that? Like, who could you see playing this character? And of course, original Ariel was white with the long red hair and she could sing. So my initial thought was, okay, Ariana Grande, visually, one of her classic looks is that long red hair. Obviously, she can sing, and she's kind of like a dramatic singer. So she was the first one. I'm like, oh, Ariana Grande would be perfect for this. You know, going based off the looks of the original character. But then when they said that they had Holly Bailey, I was like, hmm, interesting. And it's great seeing their come up. Her and her sister Chloe. You know, Chloe got her own solo career going on, and I remember watching them on YouTube. You know, just like I'm doing videos, they would go on YouTube when they dreadlocks were a little shorter, doing covers. Beyonce discovered them, picked them up, signed them, and now look, they had their own little like duo musical career. Now they separated. Hallie's into acting, Chloe's doing her singing, and it's just great to witness their come up. Great to witness Hallie Bailey's come up. What more is you looking for? So when they first announced that she got the part, I was happy for her. I was like, wow, like that's going to be amazing Like to see a black mermaid and to know that they was going to keep her dreadlock hairstyle and to see how that would look underwater. Like, I was excited to see it. I was like, wow, that's going to be amazing. The human world is a mess. But of course, in the back of my mind, I was like, oh, here comes the black lash. You know, the lashes you get from being black. You know, whether it's in the entertainment industry, in the workforce, when it comes to dating, there's so many different lashes that black people can get. Now, of course, this is not to say every black person experiences, every black person experiences racism, every black person of certain skin tones experience colorism, but it's a common theme. It's a thing where it's like, you gotta notice the patterns, right? And it makes me wonder, if they casted an Asian woman to play Ariel, would it be such a, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, oh, how could y'all race swap, race swap? But I feel like to so many people, in so many people's eyes, casting a black woman was like the lowest they could go. You know, you casting a white woman with red hair, okay, that fits the part, fits the description. You know, an Asian woman, I feel like would have fell in the middle or, you know, Middle Eastern would have fell in the middle. 
but a black woman is like, you know, as they always say, the black woman is like the most disrespected demographic in America. It was like, how could you? How dare they? Oh my God. And with this came like some analogies and people making up all these, what if they made the princess and the frog, Tiana, what if they did her movie and made her white? But I'm like, y'all gotta pay attention to the people that think like that. Pay attention and look at the context of these movies, right? The Little Mermaid, Snow White, Cinderella, those were fantasy type movies, right? I mean, all of them are fantasy, but those were movies where when you really think about it, the race of the character really didn't matter. The ethnicity of the main character, the princess, it didn't matter, right? That's why I remember in the late 90s, they had Brandy, you know, popular singer, black singer Brandy, known for wearing her braids. They had her do a live action Cinderella with the one and only Whitney Houston. Y'all remember that? Now, I was only like three when that movie came out. I'm pretty sure there were some people that was like, hmm, Brandy, Cinderella. But it was on social media back then. You couldn't really track it. And when that movie came out, it was a TV movie on, I think, ABC. It crashed all their records. Like, it was like watched by over like 50 million people. It was a big thing. It was a big deal. And it still is. There's black representation that needs to be had. There's black representation that needs to be seen. Remember where people were unsure about how the Black Panther movie would do and they made over a billion dollars? Like this this thing, this is unspoken thing in the movie industry where people don't feel like black led films would do well. Like, oh, it's too many black people, it's not gonna do that well. Or oh, internationally in China and this and that in that country, it might not do that well. You know, they changed the they even changed the movie posters internationally to dwarf the black people so more people would see it according to them because it's like internationally black movies don't do well but you know movies like the black panther even this movie which surpassed the original they're doing quite well now not to say it's gonna make a billion dollars like the black panther but the movie is doing well and basically they decided to base this in the caribbean the little mermaid being black that doesn't take away from the original story you can still have the same storyline you know cinderella being black that don't take away from the storyline Snow White, if they were to make Snow White black, that wouldn't take away from that storyline. Because you think about it, their ethnicity wasn't a crucial part to the story. You know, visually appealing, you know, that's what we have ingrained in our minds, like Snow White, Cinderella with the blonde hair, Ariel with the red hair. But it's not that important to the main story. Y'all wanna know one of the craziest critiques I've seen of the movie so far, for people that have went to go see it, is that they set this movie, you know, The New Little Mermaid, they set it in the Caribbean, right? And it's supposed to be in like that time area where slavery did exist. There were some people complaining about how come slavery wasn't mentioned? How come there was no depiction of slavery in this movie? It's supposed to be the Caribbean in that time period, and you know, The Little Mermaid is black now, why was there no depiction of slavery? And I'm like, really? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait. Oh my God, hold up. So because now Hallie is a black Little Mermaid, slavery was supposed to be incorporated into the script. Forget about the fantasy aspect of her being a mermaid. Now it's like, okay, she's black. Where's the slavery? Where's slavery? Why? Do y'all see how convoluted this discussion can get how far people will reach just to have something to complain about just because they didn't like the casting choice especially when the casting choice is a black woman do y'all see this in a movie about a mermaid finally getting to walk on land and meet a prince they were supposed to show slavery could somebody please make it make sense See, when it comes to the race swapping, there's always going to be a worse response. The worst response is going to be when the woman casted is black. And I just want to ask y'all, what did y'all think about Halle Bailey's casting? Like, when y'all first heard that Halle Bailey got announced to be Ariel, what did y'all think? Were y'all happy for it? Were y'all a little confused? Or were y'all like, no, not my Ariel? Uh, what was your response when y'all first heard Halle Bailey got casted? And if you saw The Little Mermaid, 
If you saw The Little Mermaid, what were your thoughts? How did you think she did in the movie? How was the movie in general? Like, did you take your kids to go see it? Are you going to go see it again? I know some people said they saw it three times. What were your thoughts of the movie in general? Once again, congratulations to Halle Bailey. I hope her future is even bigger and brighter. Better, don't worry, sweater, take it from me. Please, let me know your thoughts down below. I can't wait to get this discussion started with y'all because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of different opinions, but most of us should be on the same page. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and listening. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you.